Hello everyone, I'm Swapsy from Method and today we're doing a rundown of the spells we want to see return for Shadowlands. We're excluding spells already announced, so no Curse of Doom or Eyes of the Beast. Let's kick off with a few honorable mentions. Firstly, we have the quite not game-changing enough to make the list. Frostfirebolt. We think it deserves the spot, just for how cool it looks. A duality of the two alternate schools of magic probably isn't the most practical spell if you think about it. Wouldn't the frost temper the fire and the fire dampen the ice? But hey, it looked really cool and it's a fun concept, like combining a hot dog and a burger. Maybe not the greatest in reality, but the concept of a burger dog is great and so is Frostfirebolt. Our second honorable mention didn't make the list because, well, it's not a spell. It's two-handed weapons for enhancement shamans. Giving enhancement shamans, who have not looked so good for a long time, now a bigger stick to swing is the least Blizzard can do. Letting them relieve the good old days of triple wind fury crits, one-shotting people in BGs, would be the return to form we would love to see. But not technically a spell, so honorable mention it is. Let's kick off our actual list with one of the most fun spells, but at times one of the most game-breaking. Paladin's Divine Intervention. The very flavorful spell used to let Paladins sacrifice their life to shield a right member for up to 3 minutes. Often used to allow a healer to rest after a wipe. It wasn't the most functional spell, but it had fun interactions to dodge mechanics and we'd love to see fun new solutions to problems in raids and dungeons alike. As long as it's not as game-breaking as it has been in the past, we think it would be a great addition to Shadowlands. Next, we have Repost. The old Repost which used to be a lot more fun to use. For 10 energy, rogues could parry an opponent attack, dealing 150% weapon damage. Not particularly useful in PvE, but it did give rogues an extra tool in their arsenal in PvP. And when used correctly, it gave a chance for great players to truly outplay their opponents. Or in the words of their opponents, GG, nice luck noob. Up next, we have Void Shift being baseline, a pre-spell that allowed you to trade health with a raid member, often used to top up tanks before it got demoted to PvP talent. It was a risky play, because it made the squishy healer susceptible to being one-shot on such low health. You may see the trend here. It gave the raiders more options and we're a big fan of utility. Sure, it can be misused and who doesn't want to steal that loudmouth mouse DPS's health from time to time. But having extra spells to play around Particularly spells that have downsides is always a fun addition to the toolkit if you ask us. Next, we have Symbiosis. This spell from Mist of Pandaria allowed druids to utilize spells from other classes and gave the person they cast it on access to some fun druid spells too. Whether it was taking a mage's ice block to dodge a one-shot mechanic or utilizing Shaman Spirit Walker's Grace to cast on the move, it gave druids decisions and different ways to handle fight mechanics. We hope to see it return in Shadowlands. Missed by every Resto Shaman with lazy dispellers in their raid, we want to see the return of the Cleansing Totem. This totem, as the name hints at, cleanses nearby players every few seconds, similar to Trauma Totem. Shamans are known for their utility, but still don't see a huge amount of play. We think bringing back Cleansing Totem is enough to make the Swiss Army Totem Healer a little bit more fun and hopefully viable in the Shadowlands. Next, we have a 2 for 1, thanks to our discount code method. Amplify Magic and Dampen Magic. These mage utility spells could amplify the magic damage taken and the healing taken. Dampen Magic did the opposite. Having the trade-off of taking less magic damage but also receiving less healing and vice versa with Amplify Magic gave raids more options when it came to certain mechanics. Sometimes it would save your tank, other times it would make them unhealable. Quite often it was both. But we think it should be back in the game to utilize in Shadowlands. Next, we have the strangest ability on our list, Planes Running. A fun spell ability removed during beta. The Torrent's original class mount wasn't going to be a mount. It was going to be, well, a run? With a 5 second wind up, Torrent could use same bolt their way up to 60% at level 40 and 100% movement speed increase at level 60. Sometimes it's just fun to go fast and hey, it's not going to hurt anyone aside from the occasional rogue when there's Brind is overtaking by a stampeding Tauron, but we're sure they'd get over it. Next, we have Warlock's Dark Apotheosis. Maybe the Cabal fight in Crucible of Storms got us feeling nostalgic for clothy tanks, 
but we think bringing back the original Cloth Tank spell, Dark Apotheosis, would be a great addition and an excellent utility spell for Shadowlands. Allowing Warlocks to take 10% less physical damage, 15% less magical damage and changes to their spells to generate a lot of threat could give Raiders an option to play around tank mechanics and research decks. Partly we think it would be fun to have some more options to deal with tank mechanics and raids, but partly we'd like to see some bosses chasing around deep shades. What I'm a witnessing! Next, we have Shadow of Death. The Death Knights half Ankh, half Betteress, half Walking Dead episode. This old school talent allowed Death Knights to resurrect their ghouls with a new action bar and continue slapping the boss. They didn't do much damage, but it was a fun bit something to do and kept you in the fight. It really made Death Knights unique and we hope Bolivar pulls it out of his bags of tricks he's bringing to take down Sylvanas. Finally, we have Death Wish. No, not an honor talent, baseline. And if Blizzard are really feeling it, for all specs. Giving players the trade-off of doing more damage and taking more damage is a fun utility to min-max and maybe get yourself killed with. In those do or die scenarios or when you've got a buff that's about to kill you like Ashara's Essence of Azeroth or similar mechanics on Sekvos, it's a fun trade-off and skillful use will separate the blasters from the benchers. Anyway, that's our list. Is there anything you think we missed out? What are you hoping makes a return in Shadowlands? Let us know in the comments down below and hey, while you're down there, if you liked the video, click that like button and subscribe to see more of our content.